Please remain seated with your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. We're on our way to the Hershey Chocolate Factory. Your guide will meet you at the entrance. See you inside. We pour in the blended cocoa beans into large revolving roasters, which get extremely hot. Toasty in here, isn't it? <laughs> Next, we quickly cool the beans and feed them into our breaking chamber, which packs open the shells at high speed. Inside each shell are tiny pieces called cocoa nibs. Hey, a good friend of mine is waiting up ahead to tell us more. Hey, everyone. Below me are milling machines which grind cocoa nibs into unsweet chocolate. Cocoa nibs have been ground down like this for thousands of years. Milling machines generate lots of heat through intense pressure and friction. The grinding turns cocoa nibs into the smooth, dark liquid used to make milk and dark chocolate. Our pressing machines squeeze the unsweetened chocolate into discs of cocoa powder known as Hershey's cocoa. Pressing also produces cocoa butter, which we'll use later on in the process. Every day, shining tanker trucks pick up milk from local farms and line up outside our factory for delivery. Hershey is one of the only companies in the world that uses fresh milk to make milk chocolate. Fresh milk is part of what gives Hershey's milk chocolate its delicious and distinctive taste.
go hand in hand in hand. You drop the chocolate powder to a coarse powder. Then you mix in the cocoa butter you pressed out earlier and add a dash of vanilla. This brings out the chocolate's rich taste and creamy texture and it pours into that wonderful smell. We feed the chocolate cup through steel rollers that grind and refine the chocolate until it reaches a smooth, uniform consistency. Here's our friend Kiss to explain the next step in the process. The patching process mixes and heats the chocolate, developing a rich flavor and color. Heavy rollers smooth out the refined crumb until it reaches the silky liquid texture of milk chocolate. <laughs> Bye for now! After crunching, we temper the milk chocolate, heating and cooling it to just the right texture and consistency. During tempering, we can mix in other ingredients, such as roasted California almonds. Next, we pour the milk chocolate into molds and send them on a bumpy conveyor ride. Then we send the molds through cooling tunnels that solidify the chocolate. All of that fresh, delicious Hershey's chocolate goodness is finally ready to be packaged. Like Hershey's milk chocolate, special dog box. Hey, don't forget about Reese's peanut butter cups. My personal favorite. Everyone has a favorite. Mine are Hershey's Kisses chocolate. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Alex. That's so sweet. It's been a privilege being your guide today. Remember that wherever you go, you're never far from it. Oh, so be sure to share that with the ones you love. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Hershey's goodness. Come visit us again soon. Please remain seated until the door opens and watch your step on the moving platform. And enjoy the rest of your day here at Hershey's Chocolate World. So long, everyone. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.